Hi there. It's been a while since my last review, hasn't it? But, nevertheless, I aim to do a whole new batch of videos using this setup from last time. First on the list is a figure that I have been wholeheartedly looking forward to. Transformers Generations Sky Shadow. This guy is an homage to the pretender Black Shadow from Transformers Victory. Just like his old toy, he's a recolor and remold of Thunderwing, who may be the more popular character, but this guy looks so much cooler. More on that later. Design-wise, the alternate mode is very different from Black Shadow's outer shell, which turned into a Cybertronian aircraft. While slightly based on an F-22 Raptor, it's been heavily modified to capture the futuristic style of the original. As well as to avoid any legal problems, of course. There's a fair amount of robot junk on the bottom. Not the worst I've seen, though I'm sure they could have stored the arms somehow. Thankfully, from some angles, they're hidden behind his huge missile launchers. However, when it comes to the colour scheme, Sky Shadow quite frankly puts Thunder into shame. Black, red and silver is a great combination. On any figure. Heck, even these two shades of grey work well. And since black is the dominant colour here, this guy is just dripping with evil. For features, you have spring-loaded missile firing action, retractable landing gear, and then there's this piece which detaches from the nose cone and forms this little recon drone. It even has its own thruster and some guns modded on top. It's a nod to the alternate mode of the inner robot, as in the figure you store inside the shell. It doesn't transform, but it's nice that they included it. In robot mode, Sky Shadow has two mold changes compared to Thunderwing. First there's the head, which is more show accurate than toy accurate, with its longer horns. Then there's the chest, which is more robotic looking, as opposed to Thunderwing's... ribcage? As cool as the jet mode was, this is where the figure really shines. Everything about it just works. From the bulk, to the horned head sculpt, to the colour scheme. Not to mention the way in which these wings swing out to form a cape. There's just so much character built into this robot mode. And in the show he was apparently a space gangster or something like that. The articulation is also very good. A combination of swivel, hinge and ball joints allow for a great range of motion in most areas except for the waist, which doesn't turn due to the transformation. The head is somewhat restricted though. It's more of a swivel joint in that it can only turn sideways, and at a diagonal angle no less. Also, the shoulder guns and the wings do tend to get in the way of each other. Sadly, Sky Shadow's drone unit doesn't really do anything here. It can't perch onto his arm a la laser beak, nor can it be held as a weapon, but it still looks cool. However, the missile launchers can detach from the wings to form handheld blasters. Leaving them attached can make the figure back heavy at times. Also, while not listed in the instructions, the guns can clip together. Either way, since they share the same tabs and slots. And his arms are jointed as such that he can hold the combined weapon in both hands at once. Some people call him the Space Cowboy. I call him awesome. 
This figure is a great homage to a fairly obscure character, and it looks so good that I don't feel the need to buy Thunderwing. If you only pick up one version of this mold, make it Sky Shadow. I hope you all enjoyed this long-awaited review, and I look forward to doing more over the next few months. Till all are one.